Thank you for joining us today to complete the Do What You Are personality assessment in Navion Student. We will be reviewing your personality survey results in Navion Student. Remember, you can do the Do What You Are multiple times. So if you have done this survey in the past, you are welcome to reset your survey to do it again so that you have more accurate results. Secondly, we'll review your careers based on your personality, and you'll be able to do some future planning. First, let's have a check-in. Remember that self-care is important. Find time to take a few minutes today and take a break. Taking a break is gonna look different for each of us. Think about what is a way that you have used in the past that has helped you to recenter yourself. This assignment is all about you. No one knows you better than you. First, please complete the pre-test survey on the Counseling Canvas course page where you found the link to this presentation. This pre-test survey is a place for you to answer honestly, what do you know about the Do What You Are personality assessment? We don't expect you to know all the answers first. Hopefully you'll learn something new today. The personality quiz is based on the Myers-Briggs, which is an indicator that was founded on Jung's theory of psychological type. Reports your preferences on four different scales and each scale represents two opposite preferences. This is a sliding scale. So at any given day, you could be more introverted or more extroverted based on how you're feeling. However, if you are a strong introvert or if you identify strong extroverted, it's likely that you will constantly have that same result every time you take the assessment. What do these letters mean? So there's eight letters and they all represent different parts of the Myers-Briggs. First, there's extroversion or introversion. This is assessing how we energize. So being an extrovert, sometimes this is when somebody has a preference to be more extroverted and they tend to be more focused on the outer world of people and things. Or you might be more introverted and get your energy more by being alone and focusing on your inner world ideas, impressions, and thoughts. Then there is sensing or intuition. This is how we perceive information. So sensing are people who prefer sensing tends to focus on the present and the concrete information gained from their senses. Versus intuition, these are people who might prefer or tend to focus on the future with a view towards patterns and possibilities. The third indicator is thinking or feeling. This is how people make decisions. People who prefer thinking tend to base their decisions on logic and objective analysis of cause and effect. Or people who prefer feeling tend to base their decisions primarily on values and on subjective evaluations of person-centered concerns. Lastly, there's judgment or perception. This is how people live their lives. This is not the typical way we would use these words, so be very open-minded. So people who prefer judgment tend to like a planned or organized approach to life and prefer to have things settled. They are more likely to schedule their activities. A J-type prefers the destination over the journey versus perception. People who prefer perception tend to, flex, to be flexible and spontaneous. They are less likely to schedule their activities and they're more, they're more probing with their activities. So a P type prefers the journey over the destination. Remember, this is all about you. So there's no right or wrong way to do this survey. 
The Do What You Are personality assessment is all about you. It's going to assess your likes, your dislikes, and you're going to use this information to evaluate what careers are important to you. What environments would you want to work in? Would you want to go to college or pursue an industry? You are the expert on you. Let's review how to log into Navion. As we get started with today's lesson, we are going to log into Navion Student. You can find the link to Naviance in several places, but today we'll show you from the Battlefield website. So you'll start by going to our school, the Counseling Center, and then Naviance Student. What you'll notice is this first image is actually a link to the sign-in page. Once you go to this page, you'll click on being a student and you'll log in with Clever. So you'll continue with Clever. By continuing with Clever, you will be using your Prince William County login. If you are not able to log in, for instance, if there's technical difficulties with Clever, you can choose to log into Navion Student using your student number and your password. This would be whatever password you created for Naviance. Otherwise, please simply log in using Clever. Once you've logged into Naviance, we're going to look at the Do What You Are. The Do What You Are is found under the About Me tab at the top, My Surveys, My Assessments, the Do What You Are personality assessment. This usually takes about 20 minutes or less. This is the easiest assessment you'll ever do. You are the expert. You're simply going to check the things that are most like you. Be honest with yourself, relax. There's no right or wrong answers. Just choose the option that is most like you and don't be influenced by what other people may expect you to choose. You are the expert on you. Relax and enjoy this assessment. The more honest that you are, the more accurate your results will be. When you finish your do what you are assessment, you then will be taken to this page to see your personality type and to see the descriptions of your personality and to learn more about what each letter stands for. You can read more information on the Viewful Report. Today we're going to go into see related careers. On this page, you then will see your related careers based on your personality type. Once you scroll, you then are going to click on the hearts to indicate your favorite. For today's lesson, you will select two hearts and indicate two of your favorite careers. Once you're complete, you then can click on a career type to learn more information. Once you're in the career of your choice, you can then see more information regarding related occupations, related clusters and pathways. You can even see related majors. On this section, now you can see a list of different post-secondary schools that offer this major at their school. Once you find a school that you would like to learn more about, you can click on the school and if this is a school that you like, you can always click on the heart to make sure it's added to your college list of your favorite colleges. To review the career clusters you selected today, you can go under careers, careers I'm thinking about, and then you'll see the two careers that you selected for today's lesson. If you want to explore more about colleges, 
you can click under Colleges and go to the ones that you saved today under the ones I'm thinking about. If you do not get a chance to save any, you can still go to Colleges and Colleges I'm Thinking About to search for any college of your choice. After you've found the college that you're interested in, you can scroll down and see more information about them. Under the admissions, you can then even see a scattergram to see how previous students who have applied to this school have done. So you're going to notice that your GPA has been already calculated within Naviance, and it shows you where you stand comparable to other students who have also applied. So this is a great tool to use called Scattergrams. We encourage you to continue to keep searching colleges based on your career types and selecting the heart to save it. So success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. Lastly, please complete the post survey on the Counseling Canvas course. This is data that we will use for future lessons. Thank you for learning about yourself today and remember that you are the expert on you.